Hello and welcome. I'm Kimmy Rutledge, your host for this special edition of School Beat TV. Since its start in 2001, students in Ballard High School's digital filmmaking program have won hundreds of awards at regional, state, national, and international film festivals. They've received honors from the National Foundation for Advancement in the Arts, National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, and have been invited to present their work at museums, festivals, and conferences. And Ballard film students have consistently gained admission and scholarships to prestigious college film programs. The program also connects students with professionals in the film and TV industry through internships with production companies, films, and media organizations, including our district's TV studio. So today, Ballard's filmmakers are taking over the Seattle School District's TV studio for this episode of School Beat TV. We're in front of the camera and behind it, running all the crew positions that go into making a television show. Here now to talk about the film program is the teacher who founded it, Matt Lawrence, along with his student, Raven Two Feathers. Raven also happens to be an intern here at the TV studio and is the producer of this episode of School Beat TV. Welcome to you both. So, Mr. Lawrence, what is it about the Ballard program that gives graduates an edge in college admission and career placement? Uh, students are still discovering their unique talents and their interests, so it's really important to expose them to lots of different types of curricula. Mm -hmm. um, the program that I teach is a career and technical education program, but it's also a fine art program. It does theory, it also does practice. Students do the media studies, a uh, number of really analyzing productions, then they, this informs them about how they can build those productions. Oh, exactly. And we do lots of different types of productions. I can't stress how important this is. When the Ballard program started, I looked around at a lot of other high schools that have media production programs, mm -hmm. and chances were they were doing news to the exclusion of everything else. Oh. And news is just one piece of the larger mm -hmm. media production pie. Yeah. There's so many other types of things for students to do. So we do news, but we also do music video, we do documentary, we do storytelling. Some of it is, is just visual with the camera, others have dialogue. Uh, we do advertising, some mm -hmm. of it's commercial, some of it's non-commercial, public service announcements. Mm -hmm. Some of it is messages the students really want to get out, and some of it is for clients. So it's a really varied curriculum. This equips students to go in lots of different directions. That's a huge variety. So what do students do with this background? All kinds of things. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned the college success, because mm -hmm. I'm really proud of our record of placement. Uh, we've got students who are getting degrees from the Rhode Island School of Design in television and film, um, from the University of Southern California, from the University of Texas at Austin, New York University, Chapman University, Loyola Marymount University, wow, Columbia lot. College. I mean, these are all consistently ranked by the Hollywood Reporter as among the best college programs for film and television wow. in the world. All um, over the nation. Yeah, and, and many of the students do go on with large scholarships. Mm -hmm. um, so that's certainly one piece, but when we look beyond that to career, uh, we've got students who are writing series television programs in Los Angeles or have been producing them. Wow. Um, we've got students who are working on feature films either in the camera or the art department. We've got students that are producing big budget advertising. Um, we've got uh, graduates who are, you know, off uh, producing things for corporations. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe it's just a hobby. I mean, it, it does open career doors, but uh, this program is also available to students who just have a general interest. That's extremely impressive. Raven, you're one of the students in the program. Mm -hmm. What college doors and other opportunities were open for you from this filmmaking program? Um, pretty much with the wide variety that Mr. Lawrence mentioned, um, I had all of these different sorts of media experiences, um, just telling the story through the camera. And with that, it opened the door to all these film colleges because I didn't really have a portfolio beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, so you develop a portfolio yes. through the program. So that's useful for going into colleges. Very. Um, yeah. The college that I'm going to actually, um, it gave me a scholarship for a film that I did that I wouldn't have had the skill to do otherwise. So. Awesome. So tell us about your ultimate goal. Uh, mainly it's surviving, but um, <laughs> that's the same for everyone. Um, but really it's uh, connecting with other people and being able to share their stories, whether that's through narrative um, or through documentary or 
whatever uh, film medium works for that story and just being able to share that with everyone. That's great. So Mr. Lawrence, I know you're proud of all your students, but what accomplishments really stand out? It's tough because yeah. there's a lot to pick from. I guess in the world record department, um, I think of Jesse Harris. Mm. This was a student who, for a senior project, did a feature film. He wrote, produced, and directed it. And the day he graduated, he found out that a company in Los Angeles was going to be purchasing it and giving it a theatrical release, uh, which makes him, to my knowledge, the youngest person ever to produce, direct, and uh, write a feature film that, that was theatrically released. How old was he? Um, he was 17 when he was completing the project, I think 18 when it was finished. Wow. Um, and it was theatrically released. The, it opened in Landmark Theaters the April after he graduated. But That's an amazing um, end to it. Even had he not done that, mm -hmm. I think co-founding Nifty with Kyle Siegel, mm -hmm. um, who was actually a senior in the program at the time, that Nifty was co-founded. Nifty is the National Film Festival for Talented Youth. And in the eight years since they started this, it has become the largest youth film festival in the world. And really is so important for young filmmakers because film is a collaborative art form. To bring all these talented young filmmakers together so that they get a chance to network is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be working alone. They're going to be working with other people who share their passions and interests and have compatible skills. So Nifty is something I think that's going to have a huge positive influence on a lot of filmmakers for some time. Yeah. And uh, even without his feature film, I think Jesse, um, that's something that he's really given the world and he and Kyle did that and I'm very proud of him. That's amazing. Yeah. Raven, I know one of your accomplishments while interning here at the studio was to produce a promo for School Beat TV. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that now. Be sure to watch School Beat TV on Channel 26 and on the web. It's exciting to learn instead of you know being okay with not knowing. You know uh, that changes the whole community. How do I know which one really is the best plan? And where do you want to go with life? And how do we help you get there? So that it becomes part of the, the voluntary choices that they can make. That is really intentional about working together with families to increase academic achievement. Get a sense of what the student is interested in. Provide them opportunities to continue to enhance what they already know. They don't only want to focus on academics, but on something else that's going to help them for the future. Kids actually can see themselves engaged in these activities, and and that is a powerful tool. That's my job, to inspire them to do that. Working together to create a more positive learning environment. High-fiving in the halls, so I mean it's really powerful. You know, lifelong learning going on all around us. For program schedules and streaming episodes, visit this website. That was great, Raven. So tell us more about your role interning here at the studio. What do you do? Uh, mainly I do switching cameras for the school board meetings. But I also work production on other School Beat episodes, um, doing camera, teleprompter, and of course editing different promos, mm -hmm. and uh, doing microphone demos too. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of different things related to media. Cool. Mr. Lawrence, what do you think is the most important thing students take away from your filmmaking program? There are other components to education and there are other measurements. And there are other ways that students can distinguish understanding and, and uh, demonstrate what they can do. Uh, colleges have known for years that the students that are very creative will succeed academically to the same extent that the students who test well do. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly students, when they develop their creative portfolio in the program, they can see that that opens doors to colleges, to scholarships, mm -hmm. to industry jobs. And uh, I think it changes the way they think about school and it changes the way they think about themselves. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah, and uh, I actually didn't get that good of test scores, just average ones, um, but because I had good grades and a really strong portfolio because of this program, I got into all my colleges and got scholarships at least for $10,000 at each one. So. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming into the studio. It was great hearing all of this wonderful information about the filmmaking program. One of the most important things we learn in the program is how to tell, or rather show, a story with the camera. To practice these skills, we make short films with no dialogue or voiceover narration. If we've mastered the strategies of visual storytelling, the story is clear to the audience without words. 
Some students, like Leo Pfeiffer and Coleman Anderson, are really good at this. Their short film, Air Pressure, is being showcased in the Seattle and Chicago International Film Festivals. It also won second prize at the prestigious Dominique Dunn Film Competition. So, now for its television premiere, Air Pressure. <laughs> 